Hey lovelies, thanks for tuning in for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a bright, more spring inspired makeup look. This is for all the Australians because it is spring here at the moment. It's kind of an impromptu look, I wasn't even planning on doing a look today but then I just felt like it. And I've got this scarf which I loved the colours. So it's got like some reds and orange. Um, I really picked up on the silver and the orange. So, I decided to do a look inspired by it. If you want to learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. All right, starting with our favorite MAC paint pot in the color Painterly, I am now going to just do the usual prime the eyelids using my finger. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. I'm just going to fill in my brows. Now going in with our new product from Maybelline, which is the Brow Drama Setting Gel in dark brown. I'm actually really loving this product. Basically all it does is adds a bit of colour, but it separates the hairs, makes your brows look really natural, which I love. So now I'm just going to sculpt out my eyebrows, just using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, in the colour NW20. Starting off with Makeup Geek Baby Face, I'm going to use that to just highlight underneath my brow. So this is one of the new Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I'm completely in love with it. I used it for the first time on the weekend on every single client, so this is definitely going to be a staple from now on. So now going in with the colour Unexpected from Makeup Geek and mixing that with a little bit of Bedrock also from Makeup Geek and also another new colour which I'm really liking. It's basically just creating a bit of a purple taupe tone and blending that through my crease using a smitten fluffy blender brush. Love this brush, it's so good. And I'm just going to keep working that through the crease building up to the intensity that I want. Okay so now going in with the colour Mocha which is from Makeup Geek going in with the Makeup Geek pencil brush and using that to apply the mocha, so focusing in the outer edge of my eye and then blending through the crease. Yeah, this is a very heavy Makeup Geek um, tutorial. I just really want to use all of their new products, new eyeshadows. And then just going back over it with the Smitten Blending Fluffy Brush, just to soften out all the lines, make it nice and smoky. So now for the lid, we're going in with Makeup Geek High Wire, which is an amazing foiled eyeshadow. Well, they're all amazing. Look at that pigmentation is seriously amazing. So I'm in love with Makeup Geek. <laughs> so I'm just applying a little bit of high wire in through the inner corner as well, and then just blending on the inner half of the eyelid. So here I'm just spritzing my brush with the Motive Setting Spray. Going back in with that high wire, just dabbing it again over the top, just to increase the intensity just a little bit. I mean, it's a forward eyeshadow, so the intensity doesn't really get that much more intense because it's so intense anyway. But I thought I would try because I have never done that before. So just blending where the dark colour meets the silver, just to make sure the edges are nice and blended. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag that mocha underneath the lower lash line using the Makeup Geek pencil brush. So now I'm going in with this gorgeous colour which is called, hang on a second, Centre Stage. Um, it's just like a gorgeous blue, again it's a foiled eyeshadow and it's amazeballs. Yeah, so I'm just applying that in the inner corners, 
connecting it with the mocha that we applied earlier. So now I'm just smudging some more brown into that line so it's all nice and blended. So now I'm going to go in with Maybelline Gel Liner in the colour Sapphire and I actually blended it with a bit of Makeup Geek Mystique which is more of a greeny tone um, because I really want to get a teal blue and the sapphire is too blue and the mystique was too green. Mix them together and I think I come up with a really pretty little combo. All I'm doing is just lining my eyes and then I'm going to create a wing. And to do this I'm using the Sigma E05 eyeliner. You can do your wings dramatic or as conservative as you want. I kind of did mine in the middle. It was nothing too dramatic but it was certainly not conservative. I mean, look at that. It's almost connecting to my eyebrow. I'm going to apply the same teal blue colour on my waterline. Smudge that into the lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes. Who else is like an eyelash curl addict? I can never put mascara on without curling. And of course, I'm going to go in with my all-time favourite Arbonne It's a Long Story Mascara. It is legit the best. I love it. So I'm not bothering with a root with two or three coats because I'm going to actually put false eyelashes. I oh know, did you just hear that? I said false eyelashes. I am going to put false eyelashes on. I found these lashes that I have fallen in love with and I normally hate lashes. So I'm going to apply the Model Rock Lashes in the style DW3 Demi Wispies and they are so lovely, they're nice and wispy, so light that you can't even feel them on, that is amazing and I love them. Okay, so now I'm going in with this Smitten Cosmetics Primer and just going to apply that all over my face. Just singing on my heart out. I think I was, I don't even know what song I was singing now, but you know, woohoo! <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with the Smitten Cosmetics Whipped Mousse Foundation in the colour Honey. And just dot that all over my face. Oh god, that was me accidentally squeezing way too much out of the tube. Very well, full coverage today. <laughs> Seriously in love with my Smitten buffing brush, it is so soft. So just blend that in. So now I'm going in with my new holy grail, Australis Corrector in the colour gold. I literally picked this up on Saturday and, no on Friday, and wow, it was amazing. I love it. Basically it's just an illuminator and you put it under the eyes and because it's got that gold tone, I don't know, it just does this weird thing, it helps get rid of dark circles. Now going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the colour, um, oh no, Classic Ivory. So I'm just applying a light cover just under my eyes and blending in with my fingers. Now let's add some contour. Going in with the, the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer Slash Contour Powder and using the Makeup Geek Angled Stippling Brush, I'm just going to apply some underneath my cheekbone. I'm seriously in love with this contour bronzer. It's perfect because it has the grey undertone, which doesn't make my face look orange. Boom, cheekbones. Going in with my new Makeup Geek Blush in Spring Fling. First time I'm using it, just like this kind of bright coal orange blush. So I'm just using my Real Techniques powder brush and applying that on my cheeks and blending back. Who else is in love with Mac Soft and Gentle Highlighter? I'm still in love. Um, I love my highlighter, my cheekbones. So I sort of really pack it on to load it up. I love to have that nice glow. And I'm just using the Morphe something or other brush. I can't remember and I don't have it on me. <laughs> so now I'm just going to go in with the Maybelline Colour Show Crayon in oh, Coral Lister. So I'm just outlining my lips and then filling them in. 
And then I'm going to go over the top with my favourite Lime Crime Velveteen in the colour Spade Berry. So that's the completed look. I hope that you guys have had um, fun following along and if you have, don't forget to give me the old thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love getting um, your comments. I try to reply to every single one of you because without you guys I wouldn't have all of my, my channel and inspiration to keep going. If you want to follow me on other social media sites, I'm on Instagram which is at littlecoconut. Um, and that's just, I post my client photos, my selfies, <laughs> food, life, just everything. And I have a Facebook page which is a brush with colour. And then my blog which is a brushwithcolour.com. So yeah, go check that out. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye.